Hi, and welcome back to the Prospector Paul channel. Finally getting around to running these uh, concentrates from the other day. Uh, I've got the recirculating system set back up again. I decided to stop the other day simply because uh, the flow wasn't right. I didn't have my, my valve in, in place. I was trying to use some uh, clamps to, to slow the water down, and it just wasn't a good metering system. So what I've done here is uh, I've taken this, the top plate from the gold cube, the slick tray. This has got that low-profile V-mat in it. Uh, I've already dropped a little bit of the black dirt in there just to try to get it to uh, to see if I'm moving enough material. The goal here is to get as much black sand out and uh, keep the gold inside these ribs. Just a uh, catch basin, 1100 gallon GPH pump, and then again we have it metered down with that valve there. So I'm going to put a few scoops in here and we'll see how uh, how we're doing. And it's moving a little slower than I would like, but uh, patience is a virtue, right? So, okay, there's a couple pieces of gold coming out right there. The material is definitely exchanging out. All right, well, I'm going to run some material, and I'll pop back on in a minute. It's working really good. I can see the material moving in this way, revealing the gold. Most of the uh, black sand is rolling down. Looking pretty good. I think this is probably the perfect setup. So I'm going to have to uh, put all that material through there. Should take me about an hour. Look at those lines of gold. More underneath that sand. I think the speed's absolutely right. I don't see any gold much farther than halfway down, so I'm pretty happy with this. This is definitely going to be my best bucket ever. I knew it would be, though. I mean, I pretty much handpicked all this stuff for a few hours that day on the beach. All right, a little bit more to go, and we'll be back. All right, so we're down to about a teaspoon of material. I'll just pan that out. There is a lot of gold in there still. But look at this box. Holy cow. Lines and lines of gold. Kind of nice. I'm not seeing hardly anything down here at all. I'm very confident I got 99% of it up top. That is fantastic. Lots and lots of flower gold. All right, let's get this into that pan and get it cleaned up. All right. So we got the gold in the pan along with some black sands. And you just keep rolling the black sand back. Imagine how long this would take if we didn't concentrate all that material down. This whole pan would have taken probably the better part of a day. Now I'm losing a little bit of gold that's slipping down, so I'm going to get both hands on this, set the tripod up. Maybe we'll speed this up a little bit.
So I pan that stuff again, <clears throat> and that's what I had missed the first time. Pretty sure there's not much left now. I'm going to dump it in with my old tailings. <clears throat> Always save your tailings just in case. Come out with some better technology one day. May be able to get all the gold out of it, right? I'm sure we missed some, but I'm pretty confident there's not too much missed in there. Alright. The moment of truth. How did we do? Good job. A little bit in there still. Let's put something in there for comparison. Yeah, not too bad. One bucket of black sand off of Lake Superior. That was a prime old bucket though, right? I mean, I kind of cherry picked all the sand that day. Wasn't much else I could do, so. All right, well, I'm going to put this in the bottle and then uh, get it dried out, put it with the rest of the gold I got. Thanks for watching.